Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Believe it or not, we are not that far away from our next EA Sports football game, EAFC 24. And today, I want to uncover three of the biggest changes coming to this new game. Guys, it looks like EA Sports is going to be shaking things up for this next year. If you're excited for EAFC 24, drop a thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's dive into it, right? First of all, it's no longer called FIFA, right? That is the whole point. We've seen all the breaks. Branding. We've seen all of the posts from EA, and we all know that we're awaiting more official information coming soon in July. But the basic principle is EA Sports and FIFA have split apart. There no longer is going to be a FIFA name associated with EA Sports' game, and that's the whole reason for the name change of EAFC. This is exciting, but also scary in the fact that it's no longer going to be called FIFA, because that's what it's been called for a long time. But exciting for the fact that now EA might not be, I guess you could say, constricted by contracts or by stuff that they maybe had to follow the lines of FIFA's liking before. Now they can kind of do what they want and they can own this football game, which you've already seen them start to do by signing exclusive partnership deals with so many different leagues and clubs, some of which we've already been used to seeing in FIFA, but also some new ones, right? We've got some women's teams in here. That's one of the biggest changes that we're going to be talking about today, but then some leagues that we haven't seen in a while. There's rumors of the Brazilian League coming back to FIFA. You've got all the Champions League licenses. You've got Comedy Bowl Suit America coming back and so much more in the EAFC. So there's a lot of excitement there. There's a specific partnership with La Liga as well. EA and La Liga are specifically partners. So there's a lot to be excited for for this new game of EAFC. For me, the way that I've been thinking of it is same game, different title, and EA may just have more creativity to express what they want to do out of a football game. And topic number one we're going to talk about today, one of the biggest changes that we are seeing so far is a new card design. We're going to be taking a look at a lot of leaks today on Twitter, but a lot of these things are pretty much confirmed because these are very, very good sources. And these, this stuff looks really legit. First of all, this is the leaked card design. One of the biggest changes that may be coming to this game this year is a whole new outlook for the way cards look in this game. And I got to be honest, I'm kind of a fan, right? How long has it been since cards in FIFA really got a massive overhaul and looked different? It's been a really, really long time. And just like they overhauled the chemistry system and position modifiers and that stuff last year in FIFA 23, this will be a big change going forward into EAFC 24. I'm personally a fan of this. I think it gives more room for the dynamic image. You can see more of the player on the card. And of course, the stats are a little bit smaller and stuff like that. But you know the player and you know what team they play for. If you're taking a look at a card like on FIFA, now, of course, we've been used to seeing the stats kind of lined out at the bottom in the two different columns. You've got your chemistry. You've got your chemistry style. That's one of the only things I'm curious with this card is where is the chemistry style going to go? Um, is there going to be a chemistry style? We're going to talk about chemistry styles a little bit as well in this video, but that is the leaked and upcoming car design that we expect to see in EAFC 24. Let me know what you guys think down below. I think it just opens up kind of a more clean, dynamic image potential and a lot more artwork that can be distributed around the card in the background as well. So I'm a fan of that. Now, speaking of cards, right? This is all under the new car design kind of topic. Position modifiers changed last year in FIFA 23. Looks like they're changing in FIFA 24 or EAFC 24 as well. There are no longer going to be position modifier cards on the market. You will now just be able to simply change the position of the player without having to use a card, right? Of course, we've seen the preferred and alternative positions in FIFA 23. All you have to do is apply the card and then you change that player's preferred position. Now going forward, it looks like all you're going to have to do is somehow click into the card, change the position, and you'll be good to go to get chemistry in your ultimate team. I'm pretty sure that the uh, chemistry system is not going to be changing. With such a big overhaul of that last year, I doubt it's going to be changing this year. Now, like we mentioned with traits, how is that going to look on this card design? Uh, traits are also getting overhauled in FIFA and with them taking away the position modifier cards from packs and there's not going to be those in the game, there's got to be something else for pack filler, right? Well, as Foot Sheriff mentions here, Traits 2.0, this sounds like 
trait cards that are going to be in packs and that we will be still like somehow applying to these cards but it'll be different than traits have worked in the past right we know how traits have worked before you go into the card and there's already ones that are listed there and ea can add and they can um, add on attributes to a card as it gets upgraded remember like road to the finals or some cards here now later in the game have gotten more attributes and more player traits added to their cards of course to make them just kind of have different animations and play differently in game now it sounds like we're gonna have even more creativity with that where there will be specific traits such as like team sprinting that gives a stamina boost to not just that one player but to the entire team here's a sweet graphic that outlines how some of these traits might actually be implemented in EAFC 24 we've got one called team captain where a player gets chemistry if they're on like a low chemistry threshold already. You've got a super sub trait where players get full chemistry off of the bench. That's pretty crazy, right? Substitutes in FIFA has always come on into the game on either a partial amount of chemistry or no chemistry in this year's FIFA. That would be a really cool trait. And then you've got a flexible one. You've got team spiriting. There's so many potential options with this new trait system that these cards will be getting in this game. So that's pretty crazy. And one of the biggest additions all under kind of the new car design and how cards are going to work now still under that new topic of cards and card designs we've got some new icons and you look at the new like icon potential design here with some of these players on it these are players that are leaked to be coming as icons in EAFC Wesley Schneider Bobby Charlton and Sergio Aguero really recent icon for Aguero and then of course Charlton from way before I started watching football Wesley Schneider pretty recent icon as well these feel like really really good additions here again the car designs I don't think are 100% confirmed but this is a kind of likely scenario for how those will look with that new design that we kind of looked at in the beginning so those are some pretty big names there we also have some more heroes that have been leaked as well and Zico as an icon there's been a lot of heroes and icons that are in testing by the way there was a big list that foot sheriff tweeted out uh, with tons and tons of names right uh, Rosicky was in there Ramirez Ribery um, Beasley, Arda Turan, Ramirez, um, so many, actually Ramirez is listed in here twice, just noticed that. There are so many different icons and heroes that are being tested per se. I don't believe we're going to see everybody for this entire list, or maybe not even all of these cards, but this would be a really, really cool set of icons specifically to get released in EAFC. And with those new card designs, man, I love how the dynamic images look, just so much more room on the card for those dynamics. I'm really, really excited for that. Now, the last thing with new players in FIFA Ultimate Team, we've got the addition of women in FIFA. This is probably one of the biggest talking points about EAFC. It is confirmed that there will be a mixed kind of ultimate team mode where women will be able to be kind of in the same squads as men and that just sparks a whole new conversation of how is that going to work specifically for the statistics of the women now we know that women are going to be kind of involved in ea's fc more than they've ever been before because you see on ea's website already one of the partnerships that they have been talking about a lot the nwsl the barclays women's super league um, i'm pretty sure they have the Euro licenses as well that are upcoming uh, for like the women's Euros. They've been tweeting about that a lot. So there is a lot of kind of learning that we have and a lot of unknown about women coming to Ultimate Team. That's going to be probably what we learn a lot more about in July. And as we get closer and closer to EAFC, we've even got some like women icons that have been leaked. Mia Hamm, right? I'm pretty excited about this one. The way that I'm looking at this is I'm just excited to see how it changes FIFA and changes content. And I'm excited to learn more about the women's football scene because if I'm being completely honest, I have a hard time keeping up with everything that happens in the men's football scene. But adding these women to FIFA, we'll see how EA go about it. But I'm waiting to really share more thoughts and express more on that until we actually know how it's going to look because this could go down so many different ways and with stats and everything like that i'm just so curious to see how this ends up looking in fifa i know there's a lot of opinions around that but i think there are some valid thoughts to be had there in a valid conversation but i think i'm still waiting for ea to confirm more this july specifically about that the second massive change coming to ea sports fc 24 is the market a lot of people were leaking and starting to really worry myself included at the very beginning when we saw some of these tweets that there would not be a market in fifa ultimate 
the team. I'm here to tell you guys that in EAFC, there will be a market. It is confirmed 100%. Now, could there be things changing with the market? Absolutely. And that's one of the things I think that EA have not talked a lot about. And it's something that has not been changed in FIFA for a while. What did we have this last year? Big changes to the chemistry system. A huge overhaul with that and the position modifiers. Um, but they haven't changed the market in a really, really long time. I feel like this is a part of the game that is due a refresh. I'm not exactly sure what they would do if it would just be a visual or a UI based refresh or if they would really change the way that we use the market. I think there is changes to this coming in EAFC. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be though. Now, could there be some truth to these rumors that EA would be testing a no market concept? Potentially, but I think that for the game, like we talked about a long time before um, when these rumors first came out, I just think that this market is so crucial to be on the game for EA Sports to profit and to make money off of this video game. They need the market there so that they can decrease values of players and so that they can make players attainable through coins. And if you lose coins, what do you do? You go and buy packs with FIFA points to get coins. So I don't think that's going to be going anywhere. I want to put those rumors to bed because that was a big, big rumor and a big leak earlier on. Now, the other thing that I'm a bit curious about is, are we going to have a fully cross-platform market in EAFC 24? Because if you take a look at some prices on the market comparatively to, let's say, I don't know, the PS and Xbox market compared to the PC market, especially with some team of the season cards, you will notice there's a huge price discrepancy on the team of the season cards. Leao is a million coins cheaper on PC than he is on PlayStation. This is one of my biggest worries about the market in EAFC. If they do make it fully cross-platform between all of the platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, I would be worried for the state of the market throughout the whole year because there is a lot of hacking and cheating that goes on on the PC market side of things. That is why these cards, especially during team of the season with the tradable rewards, are so much lower. There's so much more supplied on that PC market because people glitch and hack their way to 20-0 in the weekend league. They get the tradable packs and that's how these TOTS cards are so much cheaper than the rest if you look at like all Todd's cards, this is the, the case between all the consoles. 400K versus 500K for Kevin De Bruyne as well. And that's how it would probably be impacting the market in EAFC 24 as well. I'm a little bit worried about that. Cross-platform gameplay has been confirmed. And I was just looking up some of the news for Madden NFL 24, which is also an EA game. But I didn't really find a lot in here um, that kind of proved that there would be a cross-platform market. Uh, their, their auction house is is not shared across platforms right now as well, but they have fully cross-platform gameplay, which is what we have in FIFA as well. If you're on next-gen fully cross-platform gameplay, um, so we'll see if that affects the market at all, but that's something that I am going to be very, very closely watching during this news release of EAFC. Now, a couple more things that I want to talk about, and I think this is going to impact the content on EAFC a lot. We've seen all of these partnerships, right? All of these different things that EA have been tweeting out all of the clubs and, and the leagues that have been partnering with EA Sports. There are some new partnerships to talk about when it comes to EAFC, and it's outside of football. Yes, EA has actually kind of partnered with a couple of different things here. First of all, they've partnered with Sport5, which Sport5 is an agency that is basically connecting businesses to other businesses or creators to businesses. And this is uh, news that they have been named the official sales partner for EA Sports FC. What I really think EA is doing right here is, I don't know how many of you guys play Fortnite, but Fortnite has been doing so much recently with like Marvel and with Disney, right? And getting a lot of the integration of other aspects of entertainment and other aspects of business intertwined with their game to get people interested with the content inside of the game. Now this year in FIFA 20, three we had like the marvel heroes right if you remember the foot world cup heroes that kind of had that marvel twist to them kind of like the superhero type feel this was one of our only collaborations with an outside brand that ea did this year we had the adidas cards in fifa 22 i think that we are going to see more collaborations and more integrations with outside brands and companies maybe nike maybe adidas and i hope that ea have high standards for the companies that come in and want to do integrations 
Uh, I would hate to see this game of EAFC just be filled with like ads for companies all the time. But if you get some really big brands in there that can do some really cool things with content, whether it's with, you know, pay to skin stuff, if like you could have a Nike decked out stadium or Adidas decked out stadium, or maybe it's with like a car brand and you have like a car on the side of your, your pitch, or if they have like actual FIFA cards that are sponsored by um, a different brand i think there's a lot of potential there and i think that's a way that ea are going to kind of get more eyes and more revenue as well into their game and it could create some really really cool content in eafc so of course you have 150 million gamers playing fifa worldwide a lot of companies are probably going to want to advertise inside of that space of course with football being the biggest sport in the world so i'm excited for that and there's also some news about um ea sports partnering with nike with some nfts type of situation i don't know how that would work out i don't want to speak too much about it because there's a lot of negative connotations around nft and uh, a lot of people are not a huge fan of those but you know I think that was talked about with some of these other football games that are being released as well like goals um, and you know how there's maybe sort of a actual real world value kind of uh, you know like an investment value to some of the cards I don't know if that's coming to EAFC soon I would assume it's a couple years down the road but guys there is so much news especially related to these new card designs the last thing I'll tell you is we do not exactly know when the game is going to be released. There was a lot of leaks that the game was going to be coming out a lot earlier. Once again, we're probably looking forward to a normal yearly release towards the end of September as Foot Sheriff is leaking here. We will have to see, of course, in July, though, because we are very close to July, and I wanted to make this video today because we're getting close to that date. But I'm excited for EAFC, guys. I think it's just going to be EA able to take the shackles off, basically, and say, hey, we have full control over our game where maybe before we did. So I'm excited for this next year of EAFC. All the news that comes out, we'll be covering it here on the YouTube channel, making videos about that as we get closer and closer to this new game. So if you're excited as well, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Food Account, and I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.